Hello, this is Dr. Ahmed Al Khabaz. Uh, we spoke about the allergies in Kuwait. Uh, the allergies in Kuwait, specifically, we were talking about allergic rhinitis and allergic sinusitis and asthma. Uh, these problems are very common in Kuwait. They affect about 30% of people uh, living in Kuwait, more in children than in adults. Um, the treatment for allergies in Kuwait uh, is uh, complicated sometimes. We talk about the causes of allergy and try to treat the cause of the allergy or treating the problems and the symptoms of allergy. What I'm going to talk about now is about the season of allergies in Kuwait. Uh, the season of allergy in Kuwait starts uh, in two periods, between March and June, affected by the grass pollen and other pollens, like planting, and we have the uh, weed pollen between um, August, September and October uh, season. Some people have allergies in different areas of the season for molds and other things and people have sometimes allergies to domestic animals. For example, if they have cats at home, dogs, or if they go somewhere where they get exposed to uh, wool or to horses or other cattle and animals. Uh, the test that we do to identify the cause of the allergy is what we call the allergy skin test. The allergy skin test is a very accurate and specific test telling us the cause of the allergy which can be found in about 70 to 80% of people living in Kuwait. I will try today to use a, a model helper, uh, his name is Ahmed. He will uh, allow us to do the test on his hand to show you how we do this test. The test involves using reagents. Each reagent would have a, a certain substance. This one has cat dander to be tested for. The other one has feather, so we can test for feather allergy. And this one, for example, has a different kind of pollen called the chenopod pollen and we can have date pollen and other pollens. We have more than about 30 materials to be tested on the arm. After putting the material on the arm, we use a small pricker, which is a plastic needle, to prick the skin and we need the results within about 20 minutes. Can I use the arm please? I will first try to clean the arm. We thank Ahmed for joining us today and helping us with the test. He has some seasonal allergies. After cleaning the arm, we mark the areas we want to test for with a pen. So I will do, we have about 12 items. We can test up to 30 items or more. So do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Then we mark the name for each test. So we're doing a test for feather, we mark F. We're doing a test for uh, the cats. We're doing the test for um, the other material, which is uh, roach as well. Then we do for the molds, alternaria mold, then cladosporium mold. Then we do test for salsula, which is a common plant in Kuwait, grass pollen, chinopod, and then we have a test as well for dust mite of different types, the F type and the P type. Then we have two controls, histamine and saline, which tell us if the test is accurate. Now we will try to put the reagents on the areas we mark them. I will start with this one, which is a cat dander. The drop of that uh, material will be put on the arms. Just a single drop. We close it, we go for the second one. This is the roach, and we put that here. It's one of the main reasons for allergies and, and, and asthma. Put the feather reagent in this area as well. We have the dust mite, F-type, one drop in here. And then the other one next to it. It's a relatively simple procedure, but you have to read it appropriately in order to get the proper results. This is Russian thistle, which is one of the common allergens in Kuwait. It's available all year round, although it can be worse in certain times. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the Bermuda grass, which is again very common, as we said, between March and June. Then we have the molds. This is the Altenaria mold over there, and the Cladosporium mold as well. Okay. Then the last two we put in are the controls. They tell us the test is accurate. One is just saline water, and the other control is called histamine, which will become a little bit itchy after we finish the test. 
We finished putting the uh, vaccine material or the test material on the skin. The next step is to use the prickers, which are the plastic needles uh, with a small tip. They are relatively painless, they just feel like a little pinch and we can do it on young babies, as young as uh, from birth or a few months of age or uh, to adults above 90 years of age. It's very simple to use. So I'm going to start to prick now, Ahmed, you ready? Okay, so we're going to start now with a small prick. This is one, it's usually very uh, painless. This is two, I prick every single material that I've, I've here as well, this is number three. I'll open a new pack of material to test for the other items. This is for the dust mite. We're almost uh, done. We do here the Russian thistle and the last mold. And the last two here, the controls. This is the saline control and the histamine control. And this is the last uh, prick. After we finish, we have to dry the area to make sure there's not too much uh, of the material test on the skin. Okay. Uh, at this time, I ask uh, Ahmed to wait for another 20 minutes before we can read the result of the test. It will start to feel a little bit itchy in some areas and get some redness and swelling. Uh, the test is, is very accurate and as you've seen, it's, it's very uh, painless. Uh, we'll come back after 20 minutes to read the result and show you what you can find. Welcome back, it's 20 minutes after and Ahmed is feeling itchy already so we need to have a look at his hand. Uh, I'm having a look at each individual prick that we've done. I look at first at the control and you can see that the control is showing a swelling, a redness and swelling and it's very itchy. As you can see, if you look at the swelling here, the histamine is showing a positive control which means the test is accurate. We measure the swelling using a little plastic ruler so when we measure the swelling here, it's about 9 millimeters. Then we go to see the other pricks and we measure. So this is the Russian thistle plant. You can see there, there's not much swelling there, which means it doesn't have the allergy. There's a little swelling for the Bermuda grass. And we have to measure the swelling if it's there, which means you have allergy to the grass. And this is measuring here around 5 millimeters. The other plant is fine. This is dust mite, and you can see a little swelling there as well. It probably measures around three to four millimeters. We measure that as well and we write it down. The other dust mite is fine. There's no problem with the feather, no problem with the cat or the roach. All the molds are tested or the saline. Now that we've finished uh, the test, I can tell Ahmed that we have allergy to the grass that's common in Kuwait between March and June and to the dust mite which is common inside the pillow and the bed and we take treatment to uh, resolve this allergy usually in the form of vaccine. This vaccine will be given on a monthly basis to reduce the allergy and take the allergy away from the body uh, completely. Um, I thank Ahmed for joining us today uh, and doing this uh, model testing. I have to remind you that the test has to be done uh, after you stop taking antihistamines such as Aries or Zertic for five days at least to have the accurate testing. I hope this was very useful for you today and I thank you for joining us as well.